Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and let me tell you what, for those of you that haven't done it, wait until you get to deal with a 13-year-old. These kids, when they hit that age, it is like their head is in the clouds, and all of a sudden, you've got to do all of the thinking for them. I had two boys that I was about to deal with getting to baseball practice, and we're in a, we, were, we had a carpool going for the older son, and about 30 minutes before that, the carpool comes to pick him up. He says, wait, Dad, uh, my baseball bag is in, is in Mom's cart. Like, that's something I'm supposed to be thinking about. He's the one that gets done with a game or a practice, and then I'm supposed to keep track while I'm doing my own thing i'm supposed to be thinking about his baseball bag and where that is so i had to then get in the car and because i had another son that i was going to take myself to practice i had to go ahead and load both of them up take an hour out of my day go get his baseball bag then take him to practice and then get the other child to practice just in time and i was already too tired to do either one of them and so um you can see that even the digital asset investor gets frustrated at times. Sometimes uh, when you've just, you just you go through a full day and you're tired and you just aren't ready. But the other thing was I had this video ready to go. I was about to do this, uh, this video to send out to you guys and get it out before 5 o'clock. And then this. And so, um, and this is two days in a row that my son has done a, has had a, uh, his head has been in the clouds on something and we've had to get on him. So hopefully he will get past this, but gosh, okay. This is from X-Men XRP at XRP 33. And he sent me this, which is really cool to talk about adoption. Let's look through some adoption. Um, and that's kind of what this article is about. Um, it says um, worldwide crypto adoption by Mountain Dew with Tron. Fries with Dash, and the new HTC Exodus, Exodus 1 with BNB. Now, um, first, let's look at the Tron. Now, the Tron thing, um, this is someone that's demonstrating on Twitter. This guy is demonstrating how he bought um, he bought with Tron, but he could have done that with XRP as well because uh, we covered, I think, the other day that XRP was being added to the spend card, and that's what that is, is the spend card. And so... You can now use get Tron and, and XRP and some others. The next one is, I guess, these girls are buying French fries and they accept Dash back here. This looks like Venezuela. I think that's what that says. And then the final one is what I talked about today, which was the HTC Exodus 1 is that phone that um, they, they, they support BNB. Um, and I'm drawing a blank on what the name of the wallet is. But I think it's a wallet that HTC may have created. I'm not sure. But it's a, it starts with a Z, but I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, it does support Binance's coin, BNB. And so, and they support Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I believe Litecoin, and maybe, maybe a few others. And so I sent out a tweet today to ask HTC if they were going to add XRP since we have the largest community in the world. And so maybe they'll take us up on the deal. All right, um, moving along. This is from Crypto Dash at Crypto underscore Dash. And he sent me this. Now, I've shown this before, but we've got a lot more subscribers now than I've had in the past. And so this really puts things in perspective for you all. Now, what I want you, what I want you to be thinking about is I've seen various numbers. I've seen that uh, Bitcoin is known or maybe owned by 5% of the population. I don't believe it's anywhere close to that, truly. I think that maybe, maybe 1% of the population owns any form of crypto. And I think below 1% even knows what XRP is. 
But if, and then if you, knowing that, if you then look at how much money's in the world against the backdrop of the fact that there's only $127 billion in crypto. And I was talking to my dad today and you know, we were going over, I was telling, telling him about HTC, that phone and how this past week we were talking about how Samsung Sun's going to have a crypto wallet on their phone. And now HTC is, and my dad, and, and my dad was saying, he said, you know, he said, we're seeing the foundation laid for a completely new economy and they're laying it every day. He said, every day there's a new piece of news. He said, it's just a matter of time before this all just explodes. And I, that's the reason I started this channel is because it's unbelievable to me how this foundation is being laid, being laid and how, how much of the population is completely oblivious to it. And when Wall Street and their media buddies finally start to come in, that's when you're going to see this. You're going to see the media cheerleaders and they're going to sell this. They're going to be selling this. Talk about a pump and dump. It's not going to be a dump. It's just going to be a permanent pump. And it's going to last for, uh, they're going to phase in this new technology over the course of maybe two to 20 years. And you and I are going to be the beneficiaries because we were the ones that stuck our necks out when everybody else didn't have the guts to. But look at all this money in the, across this entire world that is coming. And it is coming. Um, XRP Crypto Wolfs uh, had done this tweet today. President Putin ordered the government to enforce crypto related regulation by July 1st, 2019. He's required the Council of Federation, uh, a Federation of Russia and the lower house, the Federal Assembly of Russia, Russian State Duma to adopt regulation during spring session of 2019. Russian president, uh, let's, let's go down here. The document requires adoption of Fed legislation to develop the digital economy, including regulation of civil law digital settlements. The legislation should include a regulatory framework for digital financial assets and attract financial resources based on a digital, on digital technologies. Russia will be regulating crypto by July 1st, 2019. Bahrain has just recently regulated crypto. India will be making a decision by the end of March on crypto regulations. I keep on telling everyone that 2019 is going to be the year of crypto regulations and XRP is ready for it. Yes. Okay. Got this from uh, Sean Michael at Michaels underscore Mr. Um, and he sent me this from Leonidas and I'll just read you this. It kind of speaks for itself. And you can go to xrparcade.com and, and see where he's added this to the XRP ecos, ecosystem. Consumers can now use Ave Pay app to pay their bills with XRP and other crypto. Um, and he's added it to um, XRP. Um, Ave, a London-based London fintech firm has launched a new product today, Ave Pay. This is just further adoption, folks. So now this is what I'm about to show you is very interesting. And I wanted to give some credit to someone in the community. First, Ed French is the one that sent me that at Ed French 12, go give the guy a follow. Um, and it is from, this is a, this is, um, XRP, let me see, XRP Rainmaker. Now she apparently is a very smart lady and she has developed it or is in the process of developing this, uh, thing that she calls, what does she call it? XR pay ring. Um, and it's, it has to do with, with accepting payments on your phone. If you watch this video in the video, she gives you, um, the dot com to her website, which forwards you to a different address. And the reason I brought that up is because I've got her website pulled up, but she calls out the name of it. If you want to go find it, but anyway, you need to watch this video. Um, and she is remember XRP rainmaker watch this video because she shows you, she shows you this thing she's developing. She's wearing um, a, a literal ring and she puts it behind the phone and it makes her saw the software pop up. I don't know what software she's using, but it, it will allow you to accept payments in XRP as well as some other cryptocurrencies. But she said it's in development. Let's, I'm going to show you her. Um, this is, 
her uh, XRP Rainmaker, at XRP Rainmaker, give her a follow. This lady is apparently very smart, okay? Um, she's got a lot of followers, so she must be pretty darn good at what she does. This is her website, and so you need to follow this girl because she um, is developing this, and what I saw was really cool. She waved this ring behind the phone, and all of a sudden it made the software pop up, and I, was, I thought it was really cool. Okay, this is from host at zero, I guess is how you say that, at X H O S T uh, X E R O. This is interesting because this is the first time I've seen the Fed chairman um, acknowledge the um, Token Taxonomy Act. Um, he, he's, uh, I guess he's in, in Congress talking to one of the committees, and they, the guy asks him um, about, uh, more or less he's talking to him about the Token Taxonomy Act and how and more or less whether he thinks that it's good and, and that the government needs to have a light touch approach to this and the and he actually does but the fact is they're talking about the token taxonomy act which will probably be the biggest thing that has happened in crypto period when they have legislation where these things will not be considered securities okay um, this is from XRP James T now this is interesting now the reason the only reason I wanted to show you this is because I talked about Exodus one earlier today and one of the digital assets they are going to accept is a is a digital asset that I've mentioned to you before and I still would tell you to go and check it out Decentraland okay um, the reason I discovered that digital asset is because of Barry Silver Barry Silver it runs the digital currency group and he lists and it's listed on his website the currencies that he's in into investing in. Decentraland is one of them. It's the currency for Decentraland is MANA, M-A-N-A. -A. You can buy it on Binance. But um, there it is being supported on this Exodus 1. And I believe what they're doing, I believe why they're doing this is that they're going to incorporate. Remember, Decentraland, if you can imagine this, and you can see it on their website, um, if you can imagine this, Decentraland is, imagine, okay, you, let's say like with XRP, you have 100 billion XRP. Imagine that they, they turned that 100 billion XRP into a representation of a physical digital piece of land. And each, each X amount of XRP would get you a block of that land. That's what Decentraland is. It is literally digital land put on the blockchain of MANA. And so you can go now, you can actually go to Decentraland's website and with X amount of mana, you can buy a parcel in this land. And what they're going to do, it's going to be, it looked similar to like Minecraft. So imagine all these kids, whether it's an HTC phone or an iPad or whatever down the road, have now have got the software, this, this uh, imaginary world, and they're going to be able to build things and spend mana on it to build and to buy things. I know for a fact, my kids, both of them grew up playing Minecraft, and now I've got an older kid that's doing this, um, the one where every, all the kids parachute in um, that's so huge. Um, why am I drawing a blank on this? It's all the, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank here, and it's what all these kids play right now. Um, and it's called, somebody's going to tell me if I forget it. I'm going to move along, and then it's going to, oh, it's called Fortnite. I'm sorry. It's called Fortnite. Every kid my older son's age is playing it. And these imaginary worlds, this is what this is what these kids are into now. Add some digital assets to that. Add the ability to buy and sell land and things in that world. You might have a huge money maker, and I think this one might be. Go check it out. Um, finally, Darth Ripple. Um, Katal, he's talking about the CEO of SBI um, over in Japan. Katal just retweeted my February 15th tweet. What a coincidence. Is he trying to tell us something? Darth Ripple. This is from Ripple Darth. And this is, uh, this is the tweet that the, uh, the CEO of SBI retweeted. Congratulations, sir. You have found gold. XRP will become the gold of the Internet of Value. A bright future for all the banks which are going to use XRP. It's going to be an exciting year. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe 
and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that Darth Ripple had his tweet retweeted by the CEO of SBI. That is huge. Thank you for listening.